Sorry people, but this is an update from the fishing today on that set of four ponds near Clipston, Mansfield, that's on my not say able. Um, the reason I didn't film what I'd caught was because I ended up talking to these two blokes across the other side when I was just about to pack up. And I ended up talking to him for about half an hour, you know, getting to know what fish is in there and, and uh, what stocks are in the lakes and that. So that's why I ended up not filming what fish I'd had, but I had a good mixed bag. Um, I had some massive roach, uh, massive skimmers, some bream, it's like golden bream, green bream. Um, I had a uh, couple of F1 carp um, and I lost believe it or not four carp I got snapped four times and I was fishing with eight pound mainline and fishing with a seven pound bottom and after I'd been snapped a couple of times I decided to put a nine pound up length on even though I'd only got eight pound mainline and I put that on and you won't believe it, but I got snapped again on it. And I was talking to that, that bloke across the other side. And he said he did the same when he first got down there. He said they're not massive. He says a carp go up to about £11, £12. Major, majority of them. He says, but then there's some smaller ones. He says, and it's the smaller ones that's like £5 and £6, the commons. He says, that bit where I was fishing... So there's a, like a lily bed at the edge of the reeds. He says, and that's where they're tacking you, straight in there and snapping you. I says, yeah, that's right. He says, I had the same thing. He says, you want stronger gear? He says, I fish over there now with £12 mainline and £10 up length. He says, and really strong hawks. I says, well, I've got loads of hawks. Loads of strong hawks. I says, I have got a spool as well with £12 line on. So next time when I go... Um, I shall use twelve pound a spool of twelve pound mainline, um, and then what I shall do is pick up some uh, ten pound up length material. I have got some ten pound, but it's braid. I've got nine pound up length, seven, six. I've got twelves, fifteens, and that. But I ain't got no ten. I've got some £12 fluorocarbon, so what I'll have to do is pick up a spooler like Engage or Silstar in £10. And then next time when I go down there, I'll not have any problems then if I fish that around that same area. But I enjoyed it, I had a good day. And on the waggler, I mean, I was catching all sorts on the waggler gudgeon, uh, perch, small perch, bigger perch skimmers, great big massive hybrids and the way that they shoot off how do you think that they carb but the water's only about five pound uh, five pound about four foot five foot maximum depth so you know you know what it's like people when you've got shallow depths the fish just bolt off don't they do you get what I mean they're like a bullet out of a gun and that's what was happening today with the car, but I just couldn't stop and they were snapping me. Um, so lesson learnt there. I just need to up me, uh, up my main line. That's all. Um, but I should still stick to my six pound main line and my five pound bottom on me uh, on my waggle rod because I was fishing that in open water anyway. So. But I just thought I'd give you an update, folks. But I ended up not not um, taking any pictures or filming what I was caught because I was in a rush to get back because I had to get back for the post office and for the fishing dog. And she's conked out here. She's in season at the minute. That's why I've got blankets everywhere. So that's why I had to get back, folks. Right, I'll sign off for now. Boys and girls, tight lines people, tight lines.